the past 35 years, Dr. Jeffrey Gold has performed more than 11,000 LASIK procedures. His patients with varying backgrounds and careers all share a common reason for choosing laser vision correction, and that is for the freedom to see without glasses or contacts. Dr. Gold is a board-certified and award-winning ophthalmologist, the owner of Liberty Vision. He's back here today with one of his patients, uh, Sergeant Linus Venslauskis. He's a uh, police sergeant with the Torrington PD. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Dr. Gold, I feel like we're talking about awards every time you're here, but you have another one. I know. Congratulations. There's an organization called Health Tap where people can go online and ask any medically related question, and volunteer doctors will answer those questions. Mm -hmm. uh, for the last two quarters, um, I was selected top doc in ophthalmology in Connecticut for answering as many questions as I could. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, and thanks for doing that. It helps people a lot. I'm sure it does. Um, and you helped Sergeant Venslauskis. Uh, doctor, or, uh, Sergeant, what was your vision like before you found Dr. Gold? I was wearing contacts and glasses. I had like 2200 vision, and I had an astigmatism. Well, it had to be difficult, too, being uh, on the police department. Yeah, I would normally have to wear contacts if I, you know, it just made it easier so my glasses wouldn't get knocked off or something mm -hmm. like that. And it was something you wanted to do for a while. What actually made you finally call Dr. Gold? Yeah, I had, I had tried for another agency that had a vision requirement uncorrected, mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to do it because I was in the Air National Guard, and they considered it experimental still. So if I did it, I would have had to have gotten out of the Guard. I see. So once I retired from the Guard, I decided to do it. I had, had a lot of coworkers that had it done, and they recommended it. Uh, would you say the laser vision correction changed your life? Yes. It, it was just, to me, irritating to have to put on glasses or contacts. That's a pain, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I was, did photography for the Guard so, and work, so it was nice to be able to put a camera to your face without having glasses there. I bet. Dr. Gold, talk to us about the procedure. Um. Um, let's back up for a minute to what Linus said about um, the, the annoyance of having to wear contact lens. We have a, a firefighter coming up for surgery next month mm -hmm. who, because he can't stop to put contacts in when the alarm goes off, he's been sleeping in his contact lenses. Oh, and that's the and worst for you, right? I've told your viewers before how dangerous that is. So the occupational groups that I've done this most for are primarily first responders, cops, firefighters, uh, EMTs, etc. Mm -hmm. So the, um, the procedure that I've been doing for about the last four years, uh, I can show with this model <clears throat> over here on the table. In LASIK, the cornea gets cut open. And the problem we've learned is that the flap never fully heals to the rest of the cornea. It goes back down and seals, but it doesn't heal. So if those people, for the rest of their lives, get hit in the eye just the wrong way and that flap comes loose, they've got about an hour to find me to get it fixed. Otherwise, they're going to need a corneal transplant. Okay. So I'm primarily doing epi-LASIK now, which is a procedure that we have a graphic to demonstrate the difference between LASIK and epi-LASIK. But in LASIK, the cornea gets cut. In epi-LASIK, the cornea doesn't get cut. And you can see in the picture on the right, a uh, LASIK flap cut and folded back. In the picture on the left, there's just a thin sheet of cells that's removed with a uh, small mechanical device, which works much like a snowplow on the driveway. It pushes off the snow without interfering with the driveway. And those cells then grow back over the next three to six days uh, without any pain. The procedure itself is painless. And the vision is functional during those three days, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it starts getting really sharp once the bandaged contact lenses are removed. So it's a much safer procedure. And Doctor, who would you say is a good candidate for the epilasic? Just about anybody above the age of 18 who doesn't want to deal with the hassle of glasses or the inconvenience of contact lenses mm -hmm. um, is a good candidate. We do, when people come in for a free screening exam, which we offer, um, I do a couple of different scans, and those scans w can tell me whether the cornea is healthy enough to warrant the procedure. Mm -hmm. And about once a month, I'll turn somebody down because right. their cornea is either too thin or it's not healthy enough. And in my practice, which is unique from others, I do all of the work. I have one assistant who handles all of the details related to laser vision correction. And she does the patient's custom scan because she's better at it, frankly, than I am. Um, and then I do the surgery and I take care of all the post-op care as well. 
So they're meeting with you right off the bat. Right off the bat, they, they meet with me. I'm the first one they see when they come in the office. All right, and doctor, I know you're the only Connecticut ophthalmologist to represent the Better Vision Network. Right. Better Vision Network uh, has Lindsey Vaughn as its sponsor, and looks like she's going to compete in the Olympics <laughs> again. We're really excited about that. But it's an organ a nationwide organization of ophthalmologists that has selected um, a doctor from each area, and I'm the only one who's been selected from Connecticut to represent the Better Vision Network, which, which promotes safe laser vision correction. All right, and uh, as always, you have a discount for Connecticut-style viewers and also first responders. Yes, anybody who mentions this program when they call in receives a $200 per eye discount, and that same offer has been extended to first responders, cops, firefighters, EMTs, and active and retired military as well. Very good. Well, let's put the information up on the screen. If you'd like to contact Dr. Gold and learn a little bit more about EpiLASIK, you can uh, get a hold of them at uh, Liberty Vision. It's in Hamden. Or visit libertyvision.net, and you can also find them on Liberty Vision over on Facebook. I know you're starting with the Twitter a little bit. You're trying. Well, <laughs> I, I have a person who um, is contracted with me who is a marketing and social media expert. Oh, she'll and be happy so, to hear that then. And so when, when she does, when she tells me what to do, I can do you it. You listen. All right. Liz, thank you so much for being here thank and sharing you. your story also. All right. And up next, we're going to learn how to roast pears and make a whole wheat scone. We'll see you after the break.